I'm just kind of, I'm just brushing my hair a little bit, but I think what I shall have to do in a minute is put a little little bit of lipstick on, just a little bit, if you wouldn't mind. Now here's the jewellery that she saw up right here, look, right. which she rather liked. Now there's a hell of a lot of it, but do you want it a bit more draped round? I really got them when I um when I used to buy boxes of um, of jewellery at the auction. I used to bid for them at the auction and then I used to come home and sort them all through and and uh, put prices on them and sell them at, at, in the antique show, in the antiques uh, markets. I mean, that, that was my job for years, is not it? I did that, I did that for mm. about That's 15 years. That, yeah. Well, I mean, occasionally, you see, when I was going through it, I used to think, well, that's a nice little bit. I'll, I'll keep that one back because I might, I might wear that myself, you see. So, um, uh -huh. and that's how it accumulates. Favourites are the things that Grandad bought me, which are nothing to do with all this look. Like, uh, the rings that I wear every day are my favourites, which Grandad bought me all those. And uh, anything that he bought me, of course, this this is a particular favourite that Grandad bought me, which I wear a lot, which is my locket. Well, for Christmas, I did read this. I read this in the um, in a brochure that was sent to me, that, that, um, that if you sleep on silk, very soft silk, pillow, you don't drag your skin down and um, it stops you getting <sighs> wrinkles really. But I don't think it's working. I don't think it's working. But you see you lay down like that and you lay on a pillow like that and, it, and um, if it's a hard pillow it's dragging your face down you see all night. Well you see you, you don't want that. You want to well, you want to do the best you can with what you've got, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's just dark, really. <laughs> there was a scientific programme. It was on the Horizon programme. And they had this uh, woman scientist. And she was going through all the things that deserve to be on your bathroom shelf. And she said of all the creams and that, and she went through and she got it absolutely scientifically um, tested. And the only one that she came out with was this Boots Protect and Perfect, which was supposed to be better, but I don't know. You see, I've got too, too far, too long, and uh, too many years, Steve, of behind with that, really. Should have started it about 50 years ago, really. Then it might have made a difference, but it's a bit, it's a bit late now. <laughs> it's actually, if you, if you don't laugh so much and uh, you don't, um, haven't got such a movable face, then of course you won't have any wrinkles. <laughs> but I mean, if you're going to put any expression at all into your face or whether it's good or bad, you're going to have wrinkles. Well, if you're happy, you'll have happy wrinkles and you'll have nice wrinkles. You won't have, you won't have ones that come all down. You'll have ones that go up, really. So, um, have, have, put, um, have a nice expression on your face and then you'll have wrinkles that are nice wrinkles instead of nasty ones. <laughs> we had them since Christmas, which was only two months in there. But mind you, even if it's working, they are very, very nice. Very, very nice to sleep on. And uh, so I, I would uh, recommend them as a nice, comfortable night's sleep. I even took took my pillar up with it on when I went up to stay with Grace, so. There's only one thing that works, and that is you've got to change the way you eat, really. That is but not really dieting. You've just got to go onto a sensible way, a sensible way of eating. And if you eat sensibly, 
then you won't need to dye it because. But really, the only the only real advice that I'd give anybody is to eat sensibly and to do Slimming World diet because that is just a sensible. It's not a diet; it's a sensible way of eating. They don't call it a diet anyway. It's um. It, but it does work. I mean, you can eat so many things, uh, uh, but they're they're just not things that are going to put unnecessarily unnecessary weight on you. So if you if you eat the things that they don't think are, um, you know, that are sort of bad for you, I mean, like cakes and a lot of bread and um, I think one of the main things that was putting weight on me was great big bowls of porridge in the morning. I mean, if you, you're you only allowed a, a small amount of any cereal and, um, you know, there's tons and tons, you're allowed to eat tons and tons of fruit and vegetables and, um, you know, eat as many eggs as you like, how many bananas you like. It really is a very nice way of eating and I don't find it at all hard to do. I've lost the stone in the heart quite easily. Twice, <laughs> mind you, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't do it once before, about four years ago. And um, I mean, you see, you, you go out and you go, go and have fish and chips and things like that. And, and uh, you fall by the wayside, you see, you're not really, you don't, that's not a good way of eating, a lot of fried stuff and a lot of, um, you know, you know it's not, a, it's not a good way of feeding your body, you see. But it isn't really what you call a diet. It's just a good way of eating. Sensible food. Because there will come a time when you're not so interested in how you look and what you do. Well, when that time comes, then you've given up. And, you know, you might as well, you know, you've had it really. Once that day comes, you know that I'm finished, won't you? But all the time that I'm like that, then, I, then it's carrying on all right. But that would be the big warning sign if I didn't carry on doing it, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's right or not, but that's how I feel about it. I feel people have, you know, just given up. Um, they got one foot in the grave then, you know, it's no good then.